Greetings, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim, where the load of mods installed. We're going to go ahead and continue our adventures with our Battle Mage character, and we're going to see what we can get done in this episode. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay. There's a, well, there's a little entrance here. Okay. To Stony Creek Cave. All right, let's have a look in here. Fox with a curved sword. A curved sword. Hi. <laughs> Did you see this fox? He's holding curved swords. Curved swords. <laughs> Why are there Windhelm guards in here? Boys doing some ritual, trying to call the dark brotherhood. Who's going to stop him? Hmm. There's a Breton. What have you got on you? Anything good? Nope. Nothing good. God might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. Oh hi, you stupid guard. Okay, let's have a look and see what's in here. But welcome to the stream, Zardus. I hope you're doing pretty good. Uh, Kingling says, uh, I, I like the Skyrim's learn by doing. Yeah, I do too. It's, it's definitely a good thing. Someone there? No, no one's there. Over here. There, got some bandits. Ha! Bandit warrior, okay. I'll have your head for a trophy. Go on. Yes! Okay, gotta watch out for arrows. Come on. You're down. Okay. Ha! Come on. Then. Yeah, I got a shield now, bitch. Ha! Attack of opportunity. Done. Okay. Give me your good stuff. Gold. Okay, not worried about bows. I know, what's my carry weight right now? 263, so getting pretty, pretty high here. Okay, oh, steel sword though, I'll take that. It's not bad. You think Go on. You stand a ah! Okay, oh, go on, guard. Oh! Oh, slain! Damn! God, I got just went in there and just destroyed her. Jeez! Impressive. Now that was fun. All right. Well, there's a, there's a way over here. Hang on, let's see what's up here first. But yeah, I definitely need to go ahead and start melting down all this extra stuff. So there's not really much up here, I don't think. Just a couple of... Uh, okay, there's just an area where they're kind of sitting, keeping guard. Someone is up here, though. Alright. Go on. Go on. Come on, bitch. Ha! Yes. Get out of here. Right, have you got anything good? Gold. Yeah, take any gold we can get. Uh, hide braces. Iron war axe. Yeah, the works is not that much less powerful than the scimitar. Oh, moonstone. We can sell that for a lot, actually. Let's go ahead and harvest that. See, so, yeah, we'll devastate the moonstone here. Because we can put that into our ingots and sell that off for quite a lot. There you go. And it increased our smithing. Nice. There you go. So, by mining, we actually increase our smithing a little bit, which is not bad. Okay, so that is an apprentice lock chest. Let's see. Okay. Okay, this way somewhere. Bit more that way. Nope. Bit more that way. Got it. Huzzah! Uh, now, with uh, it says uh, that the guards uh, leagues ahead of the player and and uh, are for some time. Oh, yeah, I know, right? It's pretty crazy. Yay! For they found glasses. They were in between my guitar and desktop on the floor. Oh well. Well, at least you found them, dude. Okay, get that. A petty soul gem. Mm, well, I could keep that for enchanting later. And push the minus down. Eh, not bad. Okay. Now there is a way to get up to that cave, but it's a it's a different cave. 
Uh, it's like a completely different cave system. Um, and you can't get to it from this way. There's another Moonsignor vein right here. So let's definitely grab that. Yeah, weird spot, but okay, I can see again. But yeah, the guards are always full ahead of the player, aren't they? Okay. So that's good. Is there any more Moonsignor around here? That we can see. I don't, think, I don't think so. It's just those two, just those two mining spots over there. So yeah, Moonstone is actually quite rare. It's made for, used for elven, uh, elven gear and light armor. But other than that, it's pretty rare. Let me just see if there's any like up here. Because it would see, it would be kind of typical that there would be some up in this area, but I don't think there is. Okay, so we'll keep an eye out for some just in case, because it's. It could be that we'll find some. Hang on, what's up there? Just mushrooms and stuff, so nothing that good. Okay, let me just check up here again. There is no moonstone up in this top bit. Hmm. <laughs> no, the guard's just like... The guy just like stayed up here now. He's like, yeah, this is my cave now. Um, yeah, loot's getting better. Thank God. I know, right? And says, I really need to play Skyrim and do a playthrough properly. I normally give up on it after the first death. Eh. I, I just uh, I, I just play even if I die. I don't do it as dead as dead. Okay, so nothing really up here. <laughs> There's that Breton. Okay. So... Oh, there's salmon in this pool here. Nice. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, so we do have some better stuff, but yeah, we need to go and uh, we need to go and smith some things, um, or at least melt some stuff down that we're not using. So what I should probably do is go all the way back to. I probably should go all the way back to Darkwater Crossing, and then. Yeah, go back to there in the Atronach Stone, or I could go back to Windhelm, either one, and then get myself what we need from there. Um, probably actually back to Windhelm, because I can smith as myself a steel um, a steel axe. Because that's going to be the better one. I mean, I like the scimitar, it's very powerful, but I like the axe for its bleed. Because um, you can just like let the enemies bleed out, which is kind of a little bit better. Kind of, sort of. So, can I get up here? Just leave anywhere in particular. No, nowhere in particular. Okay. Just wanted to double check, just in case. But yeah, we're still probably not powerful enough for this ruin. So, yeah, we're going to have to head down here. Okay, so this ruin is not approachable yet, so I'll have to come back for that. Uh, which is fine. One of those things where you take a quest and you're not powerful enough, so you wait a little while and you come back for it later. So let's go down here. I think I see a lantern down there, so that's back on the beaten path. So let's go down this way. There we go. And then drop down to here. Okay, so yeah, if we follow this route back... There you go, heavy iron increases 20 just by using it, which is nice, so... If we follow this back down now... We should be able to get back to the mining area, and then turn all of our stuff into like iron and steel. If we find some iron ore as well, we can make more steel ore. But we definitely need to level up in smithing before we can do much. I could probably improve my gear a little bit though. If we can find a work table, I can improve the gear. Which will help a bit. Right, that's... I think that's Mazolft up there, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's Mazolft. Okay, I think I have another one of those wild boar thingies. That I don't really want to encounter, so let's just move along. Keep on keeping on. And Monkeybot Gamer says, Oh, Skyrim, nice, hello. How you doing, Monkeybot Gamer? AKA Chess of Confusion. Yeah. Hope you're doing well, dude. Uh, Dave says that there's like an invisible wall in some places. Yeah, there is, isn't there? Like, just when you try to climb stuff, it just like. <laughs> the game's just like, no. 
Okay, so there's a goat. Okay, that's fine. You're not gonna. You're not gonna kill me. You're not gonna kill me. It's wolves, though. I can hear them. I I hear you. Where are you? Okay, just move on. There's a giant camp over here. So we'll just keep going this way. Right, I think if we go this way, where's this going to lead me now? Okay, this way I think leads me back towards Windhelm. So let's go, yeah, let's go this way. Uh, Steamcrag camp discovered. Yeah, that's the giant camp right there. So let's ignore the giant. We don't really want to be uh, trying to deal with him right now. Uh, Monkeypot Gaming says, I'm good, what difficulty? Adept, but we've got the Wildcat mod installed. So uh, pretty, pretty much it can be, it's kind of like legendary, the way they can do tons of damage to you. But, at the same time, you can also do a ton of damage to them, so it's like, um, you can do like, um, like things like wolves and stuff, thankfully, are easy to kill. But there's a lot, uh, a lot of things that are just like, impossible to kill at this stage. We're, what are we like, what are we now, we're like level 4 I think, yeah, so we're not that far in. Alright. So there's another giant over there, who's just kind of roaming with the mammoths. Okay. So let's kind of just leave him to it. All good, just heard your mammoths, you're fine. I ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah, so let him heard the mammoths over there. Right, there we go, so he's not really noticed us. So that's all good. Um, Monkey Baker says, you died yet? Yeah, loads. <laughs> Literally, the, we, we, like, it gave us a random spawn. It spawned us right next to a wisp mother. One uh, ice spike through the heart, and we were out. Which was actually pretty funny. Okay, so Windhelm now, I think, is directly north from here. Yeah, so we're going to kind of meet up with this other pathway. We might find those reeklings again, because... Uh, we also have a random encounters mod uh, installed, which meant we had. Uh, I've been chased down by those 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 reeklings that ride the pigs. And yeah, at, the, at this at this level, they insta kill you as well. So I think we're gonna go this way. And there is a uh, yeah, Kynes Grove right here. I don't think there's any like Smith or anything around here though. But at least we're in a somewhat safe area for now. So let's navigate through Kynes Grove. Oh, hello. Look, there's a uh, a tanning rack right here. Perfect, we can turn all our wolf pelts into leather. Derek says, uh, don't forget about the killer pond. Oh, yeah, yeah, I jumped I jumped, I jumped, uh, jumped in the pond. The fall really wasn't that big, and I died. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Okay, so leather we can get from the fox pelt. So, yeah, we want to create that. Oh yes, yeah, so we can increase those, and we leveled up! Nice! Yeah, so we killed a lot of wolves there, so... There we go, so let's go and increase all those. And then get a few leather strips each. There we go. Alright, here we go, so now we can level up. And let's see what we can do here now. So let's again go to health. I want to keep health going. Oh look, we got our second uh, one-handed perk now because we uh, paratypes one-handed weapons cost 25 cent less stamina. Nice. That's one of the auto perks that it's given us from the Spurg mod, which is nice. So definitely a good thing. Monkey Bud says, "Yeah, I had to start a whole new series again on legendary. As you know, I lost my last complete series, but I haven't died yet. Well, that's good. Glad you've not died." Day says, uh, "A horse would be handy if portal thousand gold." And Douglas Wiseman the second. I've been out of the Skyrim modding for over a year now. Are you using any graphical mods as well for the playthrough? Not in this. Not in this instance. No. My PC at the moment is not very good to handle uh, graphics overhauls and things like that. So I'm kind of sticking with the base graphics at least for now. Maybe in the future though. Um, okay, so dual casting. Okay, what have we got here? So flowing current, chuck spells deal 50% more damage. All spells cost 20% less to cast. Ooh, that's nice. Requires 80 though. Wow. Yeah, that's that's actually a really good thing. And uh, what's this one? Intense flames. Uh, fire damage causes time to explode 30% after to to flee. 20% chance of casting a fire spell to instantly cast it a second time for no magicka. Nice. That's not bad. Okay, so yeah, some, some of these things are really good. Um, speaking of enchanting, though, 
what's the first one in this thing here? Doubles the duration of all potions. Potions with its fortify crafting skill last ten times as long. Huh, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Okay. Uh, Essie looks good anyway, says Monkey Butt. Yeah, Essie, Essie does look pretty nice. My computer doesn't really lag too much with Essie, which is nice. Oh, hang on. What's this one? Stamina regenerates at its full, even when in combat. Alright. I'll definitely take that one. What's this next one? Accurate Bash. Regular Bash for the shields are 10 times the damage and have a 30% chance to disarm. Ooh. That's a nice one. Okay. If I can get Accurate Bash and work on our block a bit, that will help a ton. Um, okay, so quick save here. Okay, so we have leveled up a little bit, and there is a... Oh, we can improve our weapon on this, can't we? Okay. Okay, but I think we need iron for that anyway, so I need to find a smelter. So yeah, we can do some improvements and stuff. If we can find the stuff we need. Yeah, there's not an actual... There's not an actual smelter here, though, so we kind of need to just move on. Yeah, we kind of just need to move on, don't we? Because there's no, there's no real smelters. And we need to go back to Windhelm, which is just over there. So let's go and make our way back to Windhelm. And then we can start melting down some stuff. Douglas Wiseman says, uh, I'd love for someone to help me get a full mod list for a new playthrough. I have uh, an AM4 2700X RTX 2080 Ti, 32 gigs at 3600 megahertz RAM. Oh, well, damn, you'll be uh, you'll be all right with as many mods as you can stuff on that system then, because that's, uh, that's a pretty powerful system. It's a lot better than mine. If you do want to see uh, what mods I have installed, um, just wind back to the start of the stream because I go I go through all of them. Uh, something is following me. Oh crap! Okay, no, 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 not you, not you, not you. Seriously, seriously, goddamn bloody pigs! Yeah, I won't be able to take this thing on. Okay. Oh god! Ah! Yeah, they can still one-shot me. They can still one-shot me. Okay, damn. Okay, good thing we quick-saved. That's a lot of reeklings there. Okay. Okay, so we qu we did quick-save after everything, so we were all good. So I'm not going to steal that. Let's see here. Where are these... Where are these buggers? Yeah, they're all down there, That. Oh, they're throwing stuff at me as well, okay. Okay, you know what? If we stay up on these rocks, we might be safer. Because they can't get me up on the rocks here. There you go, right. So you can take on these guys. Well, maybe not. Oh, crap. Bloody hell, these things are horribly strong. Nope. Uh, F5 max, F5. <laughs> Time to run. <laughs> there we go. Faith says, oh, are we measuring PC PCE pings? Indeed. Uh, Faith says, uh, can I go as in my turn? Go on, Faith. Intel Core i9, 9900K at 3.6 gigahertz. Says you RAM, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 Ti, 930 gigs, D drive 1.81, and E drive 5.4. There is uh, my e theme. <laughs> Douglas says, uh, being a disability could be a disadvantage for PC building. Ah, oh, well. The thing is, though, your system is pretty damn good. It's a lot better than the one I'm using. And I'm actually using Fade's old PC right now. And it, ha it handles Skyrim just fine with a, with a, with a few mods, as long as they're not like, like graphics enhancements and stuff. It does handle it fine. Okay, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to come this way. Okay, so what we should probably do is come over to this side. Right, so all the rig things are over that way. So what we could do is if we go over here, go across the water this side, and just kind of swim through here. Because that way they won't be able to get us on this side. Because they don't go, enemies don't really go through the water. So we'll kind of just come up here and make our way to the path on this side. Which I think is the original way we went anyway, so.
There we go. Um, there we go. Uh, says, uh, I got a potato piece, says Derek. Monkey Bug Gamer says, Max, uh, you don't have any conjuration uh, like Flow Metronarchs. They would help. Nope, no conjuration. I wish I did, but I don't at the moment. I'm still very early game right now. Okay. Well, at least we got back to Windhelm now. Um, yeah, this is the safe way to go. So if we try and go the other way, there's a whole band of Reeklings that'll kill us. So this is definitely the better way to go. Okay. So let's make our way over here. Fade says, I'm also on disability. My dad, uh, the, the, maybe that's the reason I have the beast now. Alright, here we go. Alright, now I can go back over here. There we go. I've been looking for you. Hello. I've got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. All right. Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Riches hmm. beyond imagining. I found these words inscribed in ancient dwarven ruins in the Reach. I believe they mark the entrance to a forgotten city. My brother went in a few days ago and hasn't returned. I need someone I can count on to go in after him and bring him back alive. I've heard great things about you, which is why I'm asking for your help. I'll be waiting for you in the ruins. Please hurry. And remember, riches beyond imagining. Hmm. Cassia. All right. Well, riches beyond imagining, eh? But how do you know about me? I'm just a nobody that has a scimitar. So how do you know about me? You had to know about that re you, you have a mother recent messages to you, says Douglas. No, this um this is just part of the um that's part of the Forgotten City mod. That's just part of the mod itself, but it doesn't do it for all the letters and stuff like that. Although that would be nice. And Dad says, I'm on disability as well. Monkey Box says that you can still get to the college and there's a chance you can buy it for thirty gold if you're lucky on getting it. Okay, so we're oh we're level five now, so that's not too bad. So we're slowly but surely leveling. Which is nice. It's very nice. Okay. Now, we can go to the blacksmith over here and start doing some uh, improvificating. Because there is, I believe, there's a forge right there. So, there's a tiny right there, a forge there. Okay, there's the improving bench, and there's the smelter. Okay. So, let's go and melt down the stuff that I don't need now, because as you can see, I got a lot of stuff here, so we can melt down like the iron greatsword, for example. We can go ahead and just melt these. Uh, iron armor, because I'm wearing banded iron armor, right? So we want to keep. Actually, no, we'll, we'll melt down the war axe. We'll just get some iron here. Uh, iron helmet. There we go. So we melt that down. Oh wait, that was the one I was wearing. Okay, never mind. Well, I could probably make a, a better one anyway. So pickaxe, we want to keep. What colour does X keep that as well? Wait, I've got two of these? Okay, we'll melt down one of them then. Let's see what else we've got here. Iron. Uh, steel, here we go. So, steel warhammer. We can get a couple out of that. We can get a uh, steel sword. We can get one out of that. And that one is for two iron daggers. We can get an ingot out of that. Very nice. And what else we got here? So, pickaxe. Run them all. Okay, so yeah, I accidentally got rid of my helmet, which I didn't want to do, but there you go. Doesn't matter. Okay. There we go. So we got a load of stuff here, so I should be able to make a... Uh, I can make a new iron helmet, I think. And then a steel a steel one as well. So let's see what we got in here. Mega Game says, yeah, the flame match up for 30 gold, I meant... Yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty good. Uh, and Douglas says, uh, just joined your Discord too. Thank you very much, dude. Well, welcome to the Fox Millions, and welcome to the Discord. All right, let me see here. So we've got, um, okay, so the Blacksmith Forge, you create all this. Right, let's see here. So I want to create, let's look at weapons first. So that's all iron. Can we get steel here? Yeah, we can. So steel borax here. Uh, oh, it's got two, two different sides. Okay, so we can get like a, we can get that kind of one. Or that one. Kinda of depends. I think that I think they, they they just look different. Let's get this one. This one looks a little bit different. There we go, so create this item. 
There you go. So we'll create one of those. And then I will go and use... Okay, so let's go and see what we got in here. So for helmets, Imperial Helmet. So we got an Imperial Helmet, which could look pretty good. Um, iron Shield we've already got. So Steel... Steel Helmet? Maybe we'll get a Steel Helmet. That'd be slightly better. Uh, yeah, let's get one of those. So a Steel Helmet. It's going to be better than what I've got, which is nothing. And then we can go ahead and do some improvements for the weapons we have here. All right. So that looks good. So now we can come on to this thing. No, wait, we want this one here. This can improve our weapons. Douglas says, uh, right now I'm working on a game system EV rig build uh, as a side project. So far it's got an FX 8350 GTX 870 SSD, 24 gigs of RAM uh, with 500 gigs 970 EVO SSD. Oh, that's nice. That's a good, that's a good build. Any thoughts on streaming on Twitch? No, I'm probably going to stick on YouTube because I went, I went to Twitch before and I lost most of the viewers I had. Um, so definitely stick on YouTube. A lot of people have asked me about it, but yeah, I'm just going to stick with that. So what do we require here? Okay. We're out of steel, so we can't improve them yet. Okay. So that's fine. We'll have to wait for that. Can we improve any of our armor though? Okay, exit that. So that requires... Okay, so that requires iron. So I guess we can't improve these yet because we're not high enough in smithing. Um, okay, so we have to get higher in smithing before we can do that, which is fine. Okay, so let's go and equip our stuff then. So items, let's use... So we've got heavy Nord armor first. We can probably sell that as, at some point. So we've, we're currently wearing banded iron armor and banded iron shield. We now have a steel helmet, so I can go ahead and add that one, and then we'll swap out our scimitar for the um, for the war axe here. I know that the war axe is not as good, but at the same time, it's uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not that not that less powerful. So I'll swap that out here. Unfavorite that one, and then let's go into here, and then we'll use that in slot one. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So yeah, Axe and Shield. Eventually it'll probably be Axe and uh, Axe and Ward or Axe and Spell. Uh, so it should be pretty good. Um, Monk that says, I do both because it helps me grow. That's fair. Um, that's the thing. Because I'm affiliated with Twitch, though, I can't multi-stream. Um, I can only do it to one or the other. So I'd rather just stick with YouTube and just stay with that. Because it seems a little bit more stable for me. Okay, so anything else over here? There's, there's an Enchanter over here. Hello. Let's go and disenchant some stuff as well, because we did get a few things. Okay, so let's see. So we got ourselves black mage robes, uh, hooded black mage robes. Uh, they cost the same, and then we got the rose mine destruction. So let's go and disenchant that one. Let's effects, and then do that one as well. Cool. So we can just disenchant those two, and destroy the item to learn some stuff. So that's pretty nice. There's like an, there's an enchanter like right over in this area, which is not bad. That's actually really good. Been playing uh, BCNL, uh, oh Breath of the Wild, uh, 2K with mods. So I've really been wanting to get back into Skyrim. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. I had a good time with this so far. Okay, so there's not really much we can do until morning, I guess. So I guess we'll just wait for a couple of hours here until business hours. And then I can try and sell some of this other stuff that I've got. Or maybe try and buy some steel to improve some things um, with the blacksmith. So this guy. Everyone says Yorland Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change Okay. Uh, what have you got for sale? Here we go. To protect yourself or deal some damage. Okay, let's see what he's got for sale because he might have something pretty good here. Um... There you go, says, uh, even added uh, ray tracing to Breath of the Wild. Oh, nice, that's pretty cool. Uh, King Claim says, uh, let's, 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 everything. Uh, using the FS83 with RX 8 gig version. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, so you do have a Bandai shield. So that's his stuff here. Uh, Blind Bugger the First, what do I have to sell you? Uh, okay, you can probably buy the Heavy Nord armor, right? Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So you, you can, you'll buy that from me. Uh, one Iron Dagger. Yeah, you buy that for me. Okay, we get uh, speech increased a bit. Nice. Um, okay, so we do have Moonstone Ore, which I can't melt yet, but that sells for 10 each, so that's not bad. 
Um, so scimitar we can sell off to you now. You can have that now. Steel helmet, steel war axe. Uh, anything else you'll buy from me? Uh, any key items? Uh, corundum. Lockpick, moonstone. Okay, so you won't buy anything from me. So what stuff do you got to actually buy? Do you have steel here? You do. Tells me 59 each though. Yeah, I definitely can't afford that. How much gold do I have anyway? 431, so let's buy like let's buy like three of these. There we go. Buy three of them. Um armor you need or a new blade. And then see me. let's see if we can improve anything. Let's see. No, we can't improve it yet. Yeah, so we still need to uh Still need to specialize in smithing a little bit, so we need to go ahead and do more with that for now. Okay. So let's see if we can head... Let's see if we can head to Whiterun now, because we, we have enough now to get a carriage down there. MonkeyBot says, uh, I've been doing, uh, I've been doing, apart from Skyrim, a death world of Factorio and a modded version of Factorio with another streamer on Twitch. Nice, dude. Says, yeah, it runs okay, but I have to get a new system if I want to upgrade to Windows 11. Yeah, I've, I've heard some weird things about Windows 11. I've heard a lot of weird things about Windows 11. <laughs> yeah, we do have a War X now, which is good. What's going on back there? Something's going on up there. I don't know. Huh. I mean, I'm hearing some random noise. Hmm, I don't know. I think something's glitching out somewhere. Okay, I don't know. That's, yeah, everyone's okay, we need a new system. Yeah, that's understandable. But yeah, Windows 11 apparently is um, very, very resource hungry. From what I'm understanding of it. Okay, so... There's a stables here. Can I get a lift with this guy now? Hello. Need a ride? Yes, I do. Where do you want to go? I want to go to... Hmm... Yeah, you want to go to Whiterun. Uh, get into that area. Climbing back and we'll be off. Alrighty. Sounds good. One, two, three. I can't wait Terra Veracto. I don't like how Microsoft is starting to look and act like Apple, says Derek. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Uh, says, uh, do, do you want to know where some skill books are for smithing? There is one in Whiterun. Yeah, there is. Fade's head says, I need help. What's up, Fade? How can we assist the Fadey Fade? Oh boy! Right, so found White Run Stables, which is good. We can probably start on the Bleak Falls Barrow thing soon as well. Um, get at least the first part of the main quest done in the stream, which would be pretty nice. But let's go to White Run first, just so we can uh, discover it. And then we probably want to visit Embershard Mine near Riverwood and Bleak Fool's Barrow as well, because there's a couple of uh, a couple of places we can get. Hello. Oh. Well. Uh, will this change your mind? Welcome to White Run, friend. Go right on in. Yeah. Yeah, you'll let me in for some gold, won't you? Bitch. There we go. And Douglas, thank you so much for the $10, dude. He says, I can't do much to help right now, but I hope this can help you get something to advance your system specs. Thank you so much, dude. That is very much appreciated. Let's have a hashtag Douglas, guys, for the uh, for the donation of $10. Very much appreciated, dude. Kingland says, Skyrim is awesome, even the base game. Faye says, I'm trying to think of a name for my new Sim series that isn't the word community. Hmm... Sim series that isn't the word community. Hold on a second. Well, why don't we look for a... Uh, okay, hang on. Let me look in... Uh, 
Let's see what we can find here. Um, synonyms for community. Here we go. Um, okay, so how about colony? Uh, or because there's there's a, there's a lot of different synonyms you can have. Um, so like society, area, people. So you could have um, district, nation. Um, I think um, I think colony sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Body politics. So yeah, some of these some of these words. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking at. Uh, start, <laughs> neck of the woods. Okay, stomping ground. Um, but yeah. You could have some of those. Uh, neighborhood. Neighborhood would work for a Sims thing, uh, potentially. You could try that as well. Uh, there you go. Thank you guys for the hashtags with Douglas. Very much appreciated. Um, okay, what goes, uh, um, there we go. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Uh, but yeah, so I look, look, I'm just looking at synonyms for Fade. So you got like, yeah, for community, you've got like, um, yeah, neighborhood, which would kind of suit a Sims thing. Colony, potentially, if you're going for like a, a spacey kind of theme, but I don't know if you can do that in the Sims. Uh, society. Nation, um, populous. It's quite a few good ones there. That could be uh, that could be something that you could try because um, there's a there's quite a few uh, quite a few synonyms for community there. Hang on, I'll put this in um, I'll put this in here for you so you can see. Here you go. Um, it says uh, colony is what I'll be using for the seven days jobs and uh, yes I love that word also yeah there you go that that's what I that's what I found fade so have a look have a look at that because um, there's a couple of like associated words with community there might be some stuff you can get from there um, so yeah maybe you can get some stuff from there perhaps so hopefully that helps a little bit um, and uh, let me know let me see so back into Skyrim let's go to Whiterun haha Kingsman says, well, I made me something to eat, so I'll be lurking for a bit. No worries, King Flame. Enjoy your time in the Lurker's Lounge. And remember, there's always cookies in the Lurker's Lounge. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, look! Open White Run Sewers, Plains District. Okay, let's have a look and see what's down here. Consortium. There you go. Fade says, Thank you. You're welcome, Fade. Okay. So, yeah, they've, they. this is the sewers mod that we've got. Let's see what's down here, shall we? Skeevers. Okay, so we can find some skeevers down here. Uh, that goes okay. That goes out to Skyrim. Okay, so we can actually find a load of a load of skeevers down here. See if there's any good stuff in here. Get out. So that one goes to White Run Burrows. Oh bloody hell. Got mud crabs here. Kill the mud crabs! Uh oh. I got killed by a mud crab! Yay! I like the little house in White Run says uh says uh think well there's, there's actually a mud crab down here. Okay. That's not good. That's that's cool though. We can. This is this is part of the sewers mod. Okay, so we can find sewers down here. Um, although we probably don't want to stay down here then. Uh, Monkey Butt says, uh, "Is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles down there?" I don't know. Maybe. That's actually really cool though. So yeah, we died again, but still, we found something cool. Okay, yeah, freeze home in this place is, is quite nice. Yeah, but yeah, I just want to uncover this and Dragon's Reach. Just so we've got, um, just so we've got like an idea of all the locations, so we can fast travel, and then we'll go to Riverwood and start the Golden Claw quest um, and get that one done. That's a good idea. And Fady Fay, <laughs> there you go, Fady Fay with the crab emote. There you go. God, you know, there's bloody killer mud crab down there. I wasn't doing any damage to it either. Okay, so let's just uncover Dragon's Reach. 
Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to uncover it, so we got it unlocked on the map. All right, now go back to Wire on Stables, and then we'll make our way to Riverwood. And uh, hello there, says uh, I just started playing this again too. Yeah, this is awesome, isn't it? Says uh, that is something that I would add for an Assassin Thief runs of the game. Yeah, that's the thing. I added like a variety of different mods just for different playstyles because I didn't know what people wanted to see. People kind of want to see like a battle mage kind of build. So I'm kind of working on the warrior side for now because it's a lot easier to kind of work up that way and not worry about Magicka. And look, that's, that's another mod as well. So the Wyron Watchtower before the dragon attacks is actually in one piece. It's not actually in ruins until the dragon decides to come along and make it that way. So yeah, we're going to make our way to Riverwood, which I believe is directly south from here. Um, and it's kind of, well, it's kind of around this side of the mountain here. So let's go ahead and do that. Hey, <laughs> you, di you died in the shitter. I know, right? But how you doing, hello there? Thank you very much for popping in, by the way, dude. I hope you're having a good day. All right, so let's go ahead and make our way down here. So I think we can kind of shortcut it to Bleak Falls Barrow doing, going up this way. Might better get a little bit of a shortcut. Really? I can't, I can't walk up this hill. Are you kidding me? Like, that hill is not that steep. Come on. Okay, yeah, so Riverwood is over this way. We'll, we'll take a little bit of a shortcut, um, and I'll just go ahead and kind of start heading up the mountainside here, because I think this will be a little bit of a faster way. For us to get to Bleak Falls for now. Okay, here we go. Okay, wolves. Yeah, the scripture to go that way. Yeah, that's the bridge. Okay, yeah, the 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 wolves are scripted to run out that way and attack. That's funny. Okay, and maybe in Bleak Falls, it's a place where we can level up our destruction as well. Right. Okay. Now he's coming back this way. Come on. Then. Clunk. Got him. There we go. Uh, Helda says it took a while to move to to mod two because of conflicts ever, even with loot. Yeah, it, it can be a little bit um, like that. What you what I tend to do is use the Nexus mod manager, and it kind of resolves some of those conflicts for you as well. Monkey Boy Game says, uh, "Are you getting uh, Fainil from Riverwood?" No, I'm not gonna. I, I I rarely use followers, honestly. I kind of like just doing the fighting myself feels more rewarding that way one place where i do want to do though is a healer type character where i am just literally the healer and i let them do the fighting and i'll i'll, I'll do that with like um the follower overhaul mod and stuff like that so we can have like a load of followers and i can just be like the guy that heals them up and lets them do the fight kind of thing i think that'd be a really fun type of playthrough all right let's quick save here we shouldn't find anything too tough around this area um, and Douglas says, well, if you're ever down for helping build a custom mod build set up for a good playthrough of Skyrim, I would be most grateful. Let me know, um, let me know in Discord, um, add me, add me as a friend in Discord and PM me, and, uh, just, just so I don't forget, because I'm, uh, I'm, ter I'm terrible for forgetting stuff. Come on, then. Come on, then, bandit. That's close enough. Oh, that's close enough, eh? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step a bit more. How's that? Huh? Ah? Uh, no? Oh, oh. Oh, are you? Alright, I'm gonna step closer. Now ain't this a surprise. Oh, there you go. Oh, crap. Okay, you got, a good, you got a good hit on me. Okay, come on then. You. <laughs> you think you can take me? Okay. Okay, I gotta get away from this archer. Hang on. Okay, okay shoot me in the back, dang it. Okay, come here. Okay. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> That's wildcat for you. That is wildcat for you. Bloody hell. Level 1 bandits took me down. Damn, just added you as a friend in Discord. Thank you, thank you, Douglas. Oh yeah, that, that is... Uh, that is the beauty of Wildcat. Even the lowest level bandits, if they get a couple of good hits on you, they will take you down. Okay. Hey, bitch. I'm back. How you doing? 
All right, here we go then. Now we ain't Ouch! Okay, got me in the back. The bloody... Okay, yeah, we're getting surrounded here. Okay, hang on. Got an idea. Got an idea! There we go. Got him! Ha! Okay, you're down. Okay. Get shield back out. Okay, there we go. Use some magic. There we go. And Missy, welcome to the stream. Says good afternoon. How you doing, Missy? Okay, keep my shield up. Okay, you're getting me in the legs. Man, how fast can you fire? Come on. Oh! Oh, you crippled my knee. Oh, damn, the archer crippled my knee. Melza says, I saw you die. Hi, Melza. Welcome to the stream as well. Oh, bloody hell. Jesus, the, the archer crippled my knee. That's another thing as well. If, 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 you, um, if you take arrow shots in certain places and it gets through your armor, it can, it can give you injuries in Wildcat as well. So yeah, you can, if you get low health, you can sustain injuries. Man, this is fun. This is fun as hell. Right, okay, so this is what we need to do. We need to attack her with fire. So get rid of you with fire. There we go. Get rid of you. Right. Now run in here. Get inside this one. Right. Try and uh Right, stop using your um Okay, we got that one done. You start running so I can okay. stab you in the Get out. Crap! <laughs> Took a cripple to the knee. I know, right? Oh wow. Okay, yeah. Yes, yeah, this, this we got to strategize and how to do, how to do it. We got to take the archer has got to be taken out. We have to take the archer out because that's the that's what's causing me the most issues. I don't have a long range fire spell though. That's the problem. That's the main problem, right? Let me let me quickly save a little bit closer so I don't have to like keep walking up so much. Right, yeah, that that's the problem. This <laughs> is lol. Yeah, that that's the that's the funny thing, right? Okay. Right, hang on. I've made you weaker to fire now, um, which is a good thing. So you're weaker to fire now, thanks to that. Okay, you're weaker to fire too now. So, bash him a little bit. Okay. Now switch. Right, you're weakened to fire. There we go. Thanks to my perk point. Okay. Right, heal. There we go. Right, there we go. Heal up now. Right, Magicka doesn't regenerate though, so that's the other problem. Okay, here we go. Come back up here. Right, where's this archer? Right, run in here. Where are you? Right, get back here. Right, get get out the tower, get out the tower. Right, let the archer come back here. Let the archer come back to me, because the archer ran out the tower. Okay, there we go. There we go. Derek says, what potions do you have? Um, I do have some health and stamina potions, but I'm trying not to use them. Okay, you're down there, aren't you? There you are. <laughs> gotcha. Right, you're out. Right, I got another one down here somewhere. Oh, okay, we got another another bandit here. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, oh, this guy's a tough one. Okay, you're a toughie. Right, I try. I need to try and make him weak to fire so I can take him out. Okay, there we go. There we go, we got him. Oh! Yes! Heal. There we go. Yeah! Oh, that's how it's done. 
You are punching her first. I know, that was hilarious. Like, Guerrilla Tactics is your best bet here. Draw them into almost a one-on-one -on -one fight. Yeah. And we level up. Yay! Oh, that was brilliant. All right, health again. We did, We just need to worry about health. Okay. Let's see. And, uh, okay, we don't want two-handed tree. We want one-handed. Is there anything we can do here? That requires 40 for fighting stance, and that requires 55. Okay. Okay, we pro we probably need to go into heavy armor then and start investing in that one. Uh, may either that one or go for another one in destruction if we can. Let's see. What's that one? Frost aura. Um, okay, increases armor rating and frost resistance by 20%. Oh wow! Nearby enemies suffer 75% weakness to frost and 20% reduced movement speed. That's nice. It, that's level 55, but that's really nice. Uh, that was looking kind of grim for a sec there. I know. Uh, so why are they so hard? Says Mizzy. Well, in th this mod, I've got a, I've got a mod called Wildcat, um, and it's a combat overhaul mod, which essentially makes combat just much more fast paced. And essentially, even if you happen to if you happen to not be able to, you know, hit your enemies at the right time, or if they get a, if they get like an attack of opportunity on you, even level one bandits can kill you. So like every every fight essentially becomes really difficult. Right. So anything else over here? There's light armor, sneak, lockpick. There's not really that much here. I want to want to look into. But let's look at restoration as well, because that's a ten. I don't know if there's anything I can get in this in this one. No, there's nothing I can get there yet. Hey, wait, is that one? I can get that one? No, Necromage. Spells look an undead are 20 percent more powerful. Nah, no, it's level 45. So yeah, we can't do anything up here for a while. So there's really nothing we can perk into here um, that's going to help us. So I guess, yeah, for now we'll go for Heavy Armor and get Fists of Steel. So that'll give me, um, yeah, reduce the stamina cost to power attacks, yeah. So, and that can be by up to 30%. So that's actually a really good thing. Okay, so we got rid of the bandits, guys. We we did it. We did it. There we go. Uh, why would anyone want that? Said Lizzy. Ah, uh, because it just increases the challenge. Because Skyrim does become very um very typically easy after you get us to a certain point. Like there are still like some hard areas like bosses and stuff, but other than that, most other fights become easy. So I'm kind of I'm kind of trying to like get harder fights because it's kind of more entertaining for you guys as well because then you never know if I'm gonna live or die. Um. Well, most of the time you probably know that I'm going to die because I'm crap. But at the same time, it's kind of more interesting for you guys to see as well. So I think there's some stuff up here, isn't there? There's a there's like a chest or something at the top of this. Okay, here we go. So that's the chest. And what do we have here? Flawless Garnet. Nice. Iron Shield. Take those. Potion of Resist Shock. Uh, Iron Shield. Okay, that's uh, 60 for 12. So that's 5 per, 5 per carry weight. So that's not bad. Okay, so let's get down here, and then we'll head to Bleak Falls Barrow from here. Miss says, you're not crap, don't call yourself that. <laughs> uh, well, I can be, when it, when it comes to combat in this game, I'm, I'm kind of crap. But that's not, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing, I still enjoy it, and that's what counts. So, there you go. And I'm sure you guys like watching me suffer and die repeatedly, so... Right, so right over here we're going to have another horde of bandits to fight. Because uh, so outside Bleak Falls Barrier, we have um, yeah, we have a few here. So here we go. So let's go and quick save here. Alrighty, guys. Well, I think at this point we're at a good point to go ahead and end off the episode. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye.